cell vortex. I was thinking about how, like, I uh, started doing stand-up when I turned 30 years old. Okay, no, 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 do not go. Do not go. You have to wait. Getting into yet another car accident is not worth it. All because somebody behind you is getting antsy. Okay? Fuck that motherfucker. Anyway. You guys ever waited in traffic? Do you guys know what that's like? Well, if you don't, welcome. <laughs> okay, I think I can go after this guy. So, um, I was thinking about how Jesus didn't start his ministry until he turned 30. And in just three short years, he changed the world. destructing in every way that I possibly could. And I kept fantasizing about my 30s. I kept fantasizing about being at this point where I would have a clearer understanding of, of what my purpose was, what I was supposed to do. Oh. I'm gonna try not to expose myself. Yeah. But, uh, you know, when I was a child, when I was a young lad, <laughs> I have girl parts, but a lot of people don't know that. Uh, well, when I was younger, I, I always suspected that the world would need me for some. a government school where they train you to march in lockstep with everybody else otherwise you'll get made fun of or ousted by your teacher your fellow classmates that are so smart yeah they're so smart that's why they raise their hand to ask a question so smart. My teacher used to get so mad because I wouldn't do that. Not sorry, bitch. You should be able to answer all the questions. Nobody should have to demean themselves by doing some fucking dance move every time they want an answer to something that you're not teaching about because you're not that smart either, but anyway. Let's see what time it is. Okay, 20 minutes, not bad. 
actually have an excuse today because my meeting with my priests lasted longer than I anticipated. But, um, yeah, so when I was a kid, I, I guess the reason why I always knew that I was going to do something important, I was definitely going to do something different than what other people do. I knew that when I was growing up. But it's like they're able to get a lot of people to just go along with stupid bullshit because of how they train you from such a young age. They train you to just, you know, follow the path. You do this now. And then you do this when we tell you to do this. get married, you have kids, you watch TV, you shop at Walmart, you know? <laughs> it's like, I don't know, I just, I never fell for that. And, you know, leftist politics will have people that don't fit the mold convinced that the reason why they don't fit the mold is because, you know, they're just a self-destructive, <laughs> insecure drug addict, essentially. Because most of them are. Not all of them, but most of them. And I think that politics is a drug. Because it's all about more. You know? People are never satisfied. I think conservatism would work if people actually applied it. But they don't. Like, this is not a simple country, dude. They complicate everything because there's money in the complications. Because complications make people upset. And the more upset people are, the more those people will soak up their horse shit about, oh, this is the solution, this is the solution, you know? But, yeah, I, uh, gotta take my holy basil. Gotta get drunk. <laughs> Well, yeah, I mean, I fell into that for a little while, but you know, I'm an, I'm the anomaly that you know, I was brainwashed for a little while, and then my brain just like swam back up the stream and was like, I still exist. Are you gonna use me or not? <laughs> oh shit! Did you see that? That was intense. Did y'all see that? I, I kind of wish that the camera... I don't know if the camera filmed that or not, but like this coffee just flew off my car. But anyway. Yeah, we're very lucky to have such an amazing brain that was still relatively intact whenever we got it back. A lot of people aren't so lucky, you know? We pray for them. And our prayers are somewhat futile, I think, but the sentiment's still there.